everybody. It is Sunday morning, June 5th, just before 10 a.m. Anyway, uh, we're all getting our day started, getting dressed and all that. Elizabeth and I, my sister, need to run to the grocery store really quick. And I think Rebecca and Polly are going to come over for uh, lunch, impromptu lunch. We're going to kind of try to eat up what's in the fridge, all the massive amounts of lettuce my dad brought me last week. Anyway, if it's not slimy yet. Um... Past that, I don't know what we're doing with the day, but we're doing at least that. It is June 6th, 8.27 a.m. Don't get excited, I'm at the computer desk, because, you know, otherwise I have no idea. Anyway, I didn't film much yesterday because we just spent time with the family, with my sister and the kids, and um, we went and ran a few errands. Yeah, my sister's a retired cosmetologist, and so when she is in town, we take her over to the beauty supply, and we get shampoo and hair color if we need it. Obviously, I don't color my hair, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we did a bunch of that and we just hung out as a family and that was a lot of fun. Today is Monday, so I need to do some stuff on Facebook and I need to edit the vlog for last week. Mm -hmm. Vlog is edited and loading. All the weekly posts are written and scheduled and it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I'm ahead of schedule, but I'm not mad about it. All right. On to the next. I'll be hey back. Guys. So it's after lunch. My sister has gone over to uh, my daughter's house. She's going to help her organize the kitchen and pantry cabinet. My sister is like an organizing queen. She does feng shui, she, all of that stuff. Anyway, she has a business doing that. And if you need help with some of that, I will put her information down below. Check her out. Anyway, she's on her way over to do that. And at least figuring out what to do over there is going to be a whole afternoon project. So anyway, and then I took the painting that I just finished and rearranged this wall. I love it. Also, everything is straight. I put, com they, are, they, are, they are up there with nails, but I also put a little command strip behind it so they stay where they're supposed to. Hey anyway, I didn't expect to do that today. That's as close a look as you get. It's an upcoming um, art for therapy video. I didn't expect to do that today, but there you have it. So we're gonna let it dry and I will be finishing the video sometime this week, I don't know. And anyway, I'm gonna plug the ye old camera in and recharge it <laughs> because yeah, I'm having battery issues. Anyway, I'm gonna do that and take care of a couple more things and then maybe turn that off for the day. It is 3.47, so it's just about time anyway. All right, I'll be back. Walk. We are near grammar school, and sometimes the kids drop things out of their backpacks on their way home. I found colored pencils and stuff. Today, I found a sticker. Still on the backing paper. We'll put that in the journal tonight. Anyway, one of the neighbors down here is remodeling their house. They pretty much tore the whole thing down and are rebuilding it. So we're gonna go check out today's progress and see what else we can see. I'll be back. So good morning, but it's 2.17 p.m. Tuesday, June 7th. I know. You know, my sister's here visiting. We just were relaxing this morning and hanging out and, you know, doing chores and the normal thing. So anyway, I'm here in front of the computer. I'm gonna check on some things. I really, wasn't going to do any more work on the next art for therapy video. That's all you're going to see right now. But I'm really getting the impression that I need to work on it. So I might be doing that, maybe. We'll see. I do have to pick my dad up at the airport at 4.30, so, but I have time to maybe play a little bit before I go do that. So we'll see. I'll be back. It is Wednesday, June 8th, 9.30-ish a.m. Got the windows open. It's supposed to be a beautiful 70 plus degree day. Yeah, and I thought these art for therapy boards were done and the video was done, but I might need to do a couple more things to them today, later today. So anyway, Wednesday is usually my check the peel box errand day. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today. I might do it tomorrow, we'll see. Anyway, 
we're just having a nice relaxing start to our morning and we'll take it from there. Okay, the new art for therapy piece um, video is edited and I'm just waiting a second till the computer will let me save it and it's, it's thinking. Anyway, and after a little bit of a touch up, I think as I said earlier, the actual piece is done and drying and then I can put some sealer on it and get on to the next thing. I do have this cute little rectangular canvas. I went to go buy some new stretch canvas because I was out and I was gonna buy like a big, big one. I saw these little guys and I'm, yeah. And I have this picture I took when we were in Seaside and then I abstracted it a few times. So these are, this is my inspiration board to do something. I think doing something like that on here would be cool. So next project. Um, and I of course have some water coloring and stuff to do. So anyway, feeling pretty good this morning. It's a beautiful day out. We've got the windows open. When I head downstairs for lunch, I'm gonna open the sliding glass door. So it's all good. All right, that's it for the minute. Oh, and we're gonna replant my avocado seed. So last year, I think I sprouted, or maybe the year before, I started sprouting an avocado seed from just a store-bought avocado. And it got a lot of roots, but never did anything else except grow roots. Finally, it's got one big shoot and another little baby shoot, so it's time to put it in some dirt. I hope I don't kill it. Um, and I actually have a dead kitchen window plant that needs to come out, so I'm going to replace the one with the other and cross your fingers. All right, I'll be back. I have lunch. I got um, the, uh, I think I already said the video is saving. I also got our old coffee table and end table. Um, we're trying to sell them. Um, and I had them listed on Facebook and Craigslist yesterday. I forgot Facebook Marketplace, so I just did that. And then I planted the avocado seed, there you go, in a pot, watered it, cross your fingers. Okay, now we're gonna go check the mail and then we'll eat lunch. All right, so I'll be back. I think the Holiday House is ready for Independence, Independence Day. What do you think? Looks pretty good. We are out for our evening walk. We're both kind of tired today for no particular reason. I don't know, maybe it's the change in the seasons because we went from cold to hot again. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll be back. It is Thursday morning, June something. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Just before 10 a.m., like literally one minute before 10. We're going to go run some errands. Um, I took my time getting ready this morning because one, I felt like it, but two, I got a color depositing hair mask in a purpley silver color. I want to have something that I can use to moisturize my hair that will help me tone it when it starts to get a little bit yellowy. Those of you who have gray or silver hair know what I mean. Anything. So I got a hair mask and um, I was kind of worried it would like turn my hair purple, but actually it didn't. And I don't know completely yet what the color is gonna be because my hair's still wet, but um, I do I do think it like got rid of all, I had some yellowy ends and I think they're more brown now and not yellow, which is perfect. Um, I of course would dye my hair rainbow, but my husband is like, uh, no. I know it's my hair, but you know, I like him to like to look at me, so there's that. And if you're of a certain age, then you know, uh, for some of us, I, my hair used to be oily. My skin was oily, my hair was oily. Then menopause hit, skin's dry, hair's dry, everything's dry. I know it's TMI, but sorry. If I made you spit your coffee out, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so, you know, I put lots of more moisturizer on my face now. I put, um, you know, some kind of hair mask and stuff on my hair on a regular basis. Minimum once a month. I'm trying to get into the better habit of doing it maybe a little bit more than that. 
And if I'm going to do it, I like the idea of this color depositing hair mask if it works. So my hair does feel really good this morning. So we'll see. Plus I got some new um, leave-in treatments um, when we were at the beauty supply house. And so um, that also seemed to be helping a lot. So anyway, we're going to go run some errands this morning. Enough about my hair. We're going to go run some errands this morning. We've got to go check the P.O. box. Not that y'all send me happy mail, but you know, you can if you want. The address is below. Um, I need printer ink. I need to drop off some donations. Like, there's just kind of a list of random things. So, um, I'm not going to do the grocery shopping because I'd rather do that with Bob, but I do need to go pick up some salad at one of the places I go to. So, we'll see. All right. I'm going to go get it done and I'll be back. Okay, guys, as part of creating this um, art for therapy piece that I did, video coming soon, um, into a completed piece of artwork, I'm really getting the very strong feeling to attach them all together, one to the other. So I'm going to be screwing the boards together, putting two screws between each one and screwing all seven of them together. Will it be stable? I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. I'll be back. I was going to put these together a different way by screwing them in from this way, but we don't have the right attachments for the drills to do that kind of thing. So I added little pieces of wood and some screws from the back side from this way and then E6000 in between. Now is that going to be able to hold up? I, I don't know. Am I going to have to add more wood? Probably. And I'm thinking I'll get some little like trim wood and maybe add a frame around all of the edges on the outside and then nail that in or screw that in and that should that should strengthen the piece the whole piece up but yeah I think it's headed in I'm feeling like it's headed in a good direction so now I'm going to clean up my mess and put the tools away before the husband finds out I was in his toolbox oops I'll be back, back from the hardware store. We've got a finished coat on the canvases, which again are all hooked together. And frame pieces are cut and stained. Everything's gotta dry and then I can put it together. Let's hope I do a decent job. <clears throat> all right, I'll be back. There you have it. I added some filler to the corners. When that dries, I will touch it up with some more of the gray stain, but that completed it and now it's it looks good, it's stable. And the, the nails are copper, which I just, I don't know. There's something about the copper nails. Anyway, all right, let's let it dry and I'll be back. It is actually almost lunchtime. It's after 11 a.m. <laughs> I've had a slow start to my morning. I slipped in for one, which I'm not mad about. Anyway, um, the 56 inch long art therapy piece is done and dry. It's turned over to the backside because we need to put picture hangers on it. My husband's gonna help me hang it this weekend um, and the little bit of wall space we have left. Um, I'm going to, I, I need to sign it and date it. So that'll be on the list of things to do today. And then I'm going to start a new piece over here. Um, I'm done checking with social media. I checked on my cousin, um, AKA fourth sister, third sister. Um, I We really grew up together, spending a lot of time with at each other's houses, mostly me at her house. And um, she had some pretty serious health issues uh, recently. She was in the hospital for a bit, but she's on the mend. So those of you who feel up to it, reach out um, in the comments below and wish my cousin Teresa a speedy cover recovery. So anyway, 
So that's all. I also made a new to-do list. And tonight after Bob gets off work, I think we're going grocery shopping because we don't, we've done two family dinner nights kind of close in a row, a couple days apart last week. And, and so we're going to like, just everybody's taking a break this weekend. Not mad about it. All right. But I think we're going to go tonight because we might be puppy sitting tomorrow for the kids. So, all right, let's get started on some art, shall we? I'll be back. Just before 11 a.m. on Saturday, I almost said January. <laughs> Is it June 11th? It's June Hold 11th. On. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we're just having a relaxing start to our day, which, again, not mad about it. Um, there's a squirrel out there doing something to my tree. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's probably looking for food, but all the food bowls are full of water. So anyway, it's been rain. It's June, but it's raining and cloudy and dark. And you know, welcome to Oregon, land of much water. We're just doing a few chores and Bob's checking on some stuff on his computer. He's probably paying bills or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know if we're going to go out and do anything today. We might. We'll see. If we do, I'll take you with us. I'll be back. In the distance, you can see that golf cart back there driving away. We were up there walking on the path, and we're not really supposed to, and we got told. By the marshal. By the golf co course marshal. marshal, Oops. Yeah. So I guess we ought not to walk on this side of the street. We should probably be on the other side. But, you know. There's no golfers. They're just concerned for our safety, he said, so we don't get beamed yes. with a golf ball. But there's no golfers. But there's no golfers today. See, so keep out, golfers only. Well, there's no golfers. Well, I don't see anybody. Nobody can say we're strict rule followers. If you believe that about me, you know. <laughs> You're a very strict rule follower. N now I am. I didn't always <laughs> used to be. You are now, yes. <laughs> you didn't know me in my younger days, and you cert certainly don't know my family history. Uh, anyway, all right. We all learn it's from nice, our mistakes, hopefully, right? It's a nice gloomy day. It's a, yeah, it's a nice gloomy, typical Oregon wet day. Because, you know. With, uh, with not a bright, with the sun not shining, no brightness out whatsoever, all clouds. Everything's wet and moist and it's very humid. Clouds everywhere, some darker than others. Yeah. Anyway. It's a bit humid. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. We're going to go finish our walk. We'll be back. Late afternoon. It's after three o'clock. I don't know what time it is exactly. Anyway. My sister came down from my dad's house. Um, she left a couple of things here, and so she uh, picked them up. And she's spending the night at my daughter's house and then going home back to Utah in the morning. In the meantime, 
Bob spent like an hour cleaning pine needles and stuff out of the cars. Because yes, we do live in Oregon, land of much water, many bridges, no direct route to anywhere, and oh my god, pine needles. So anyway, he spent at least an hour cleaning out the cars, his car and our Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi rarely gets driven and it had pine needles in it anyway. Well, and cobwebs, but yeah. Anyway, this is one of our guest rooms and we hung up my latest art for therapy piece. You all probably recognize that one if you've been following the videos, so it looks pretty good. Anyway, now we are going to have a snack, watch a movie, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll be back. So it's after 11 o'clock on Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's late. Yeah. It's time to go to bed. But we've spent the afternoon watching a couple of interesting movies on TV. Interceptor. Is that what it was called? Interceptor, yes. Interceptor and Moonfall. Moonfall, I think. Okay. Anyway, it was, I liked Moonfall. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know. It was interesting. I, I, they both kind of had cliffhangers at the end. I hate that. I like conclusions. Just a fun fact. Like anyway, we found we have uh, access to a lot of other movies we didn't know we had access to. So, yeah. I think that's a good thing. Maybe? All right. It's been a fun week. Um, as usual, it's been interesting. You know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? I hope you guys have had a great week. La leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please shop in the Etsy store. Because, you know, we've got an overabundance of artwork and stuff. And it's got to go. I still have purge boxes. You all got to buy them. Anyway. <sighs> That's it for now. Go out and stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.